I've been a member of the Consumer Electronics Society for about 55 years. Uh, I joined uh, while I was still a student uh, in college. And uh, I, my first society that I joined in IEEE was the Consumer Electronics Society. I have been a member for the last five, six years and I have been involved in several roles in the conferences. I joined to IEEE around 20 years ago because one of my colleagues at my university uh, was, uh, belongs to IEEE and he told me about the activities and I joined around 20 years ago. And during all this time I have been member, first student member, later regular member, and nowadays I am senior member. Oh my, uh, I've been a IEEE member more than 30 years and I've been a Consumer Technology, Consumer Electronics Society member for maybe 24 uh, four years. Um, more than 27 years. I joined the society in 2013. Being a member of the society allows you to network and meet peers who are doing uh, very interesting and exciting work and research in the field of consumer technologies. The major advantage is that you get to know about the latest consumer uh, technologies and uh, what is happening in these, uh, for example, the smart home environment, smart technologies, virtual realities. You get exposed to several upcoming things. IEEE has so many benefits and advantages uh, in terms of publications, uh, conferences, uh, uh, networking, uh, standards. The best, most important advantages from my point of view to, to belong to Consumer Electronics Society is that I have a lot of friends here, a lot of contents around the world, and I can discuss with a lot of people about engineering, electronic engineering, consumer electronics, uh, in a very relaxed uh, framework. You meet a lot of colleagues, you uh, network, you learn about the things a little bit before uh, everyone else. But uh, in particular, when you're a young professional, it helps you to establish really uh, profound uh, connections uh, that will serve you in the future. The real importance of joining a technical organization like the IEEE and in particular in, in getting involved in a society that focuses on something that you're working on is that it provides you with networking, uh, connections, uh, resources that can help you in your career. And I really see that organizations like the IEEE and the societies in the IEEE can be your professional home and help you throughout your career, uh, help you uh, uh, find friends, associates, uh, colleagues that you can uh, do things with and uh, to learn new things and to um, because many of us will end up doing a number of different activities, a number of different uh, things over the course of our careers. And to do that, and to do that well, you need to be prepared. And being prepared is being aware of the new developments uh, in your areas of interest um, and getting involved in them early enough that you can make a difference and that you can find uh, opportunities and resources when they become available. Consumer Electronics Society changed their name to Consumer Technology Society to reflect the changes in the industry. Uh, many years ago, consumer electronics products were single function standalone boxes. And uh, as technology has evolved, we see things that are more software intensive, that are more uh, connected. We have applications that run on tablets and phones and it's moved from things that are traditionally just electronics to things that are technologies. Electronics seemed like it was too much oriented on hardware. And nowadays, if you just think about you know, our consumer devices, uh, like our phones, for instance, you know, there's amazing hardware in this thing. It has all kinds of uh, accelerometers and radios. The reason why they uh, why I changed the name of the society was to, to make sure that people understand it includes every aspect of technology that creates hardware, creates software, creates services, creates businesses, uh, creates uh, the environment and industry that, uh, that Consumer Electronic represents. An IEEE um, technical activity boards approved the changes 
uh, based on the recommendation of the Board of Governors of IEEE Consumer Electronics Society uh, th this year in January 2019, uh, last year January 2019, and the Technical Activity Board approved it in June uh, 21st, and um, the IEEE Board of Directors, the final approval for the name change was uh, September 26, and will be effective basically uh, in January 2021. The name will be IEEE Consumer uh, Technology Society. And by the way, IEEE Consumer Electronics Society is one of the oldest society in IEEE history. Probably consumer electronics is too, too wide. So it means the focus of the society sometimes is not very clear. And also electronics sounds like a bit old. It means not a lot of people are thinking that consumer electronics is only electronics and this is not true. Nowadays consumer electronics is it's really a group of technologies, not only electronic. So this is the reason why the Board of Governors of, of the society decided to change to consumer technology. Consumer electronics uh, it's really more the activities that our members do nowadays so i think it's a good idea to change we need to stay on top of the things and we need to acknowledge uh, changes consumer technology consumer electronics is one of the drivers of of the economic nowadays so uh, this society should be close to this develop of the economy. We have conferences that we have to reshape these conferences uh, to be good quality, good attendance, and good uh, quality of technical program itself. And also we have to associate another program which is uh, related to industry. So there will be two programs uh, running together. One is the, the conventional one, which is the technical program, and the other one will be industry programs. And also we have to improve our uh, publications, uh, the transaction on consumer electronics. Uh, uh, we have to make it more uh, uh, efficient and more uh, uh, successful. And similarly, we already did with the consumer electronics magazine. Uh, we have, just in two months, we have special issues uh, with the industry. Uh, it is uh, consumer, uh, it is, uh, security and privacy in consumer electronics uh, uh, devices. I'd like to see the IEEE Consumer Electronics Society partner with uh, groups. CTA is one of those, the Consumer Technology Association that puts on the CES. But I think there's a lot more as well. And I think IEEE uh, Consumer Electronics Society should be engaged with IEEE young professionals. Because if you think about it, all of us, and particularly about the young, younger generation, are so tied in and the electronics, the consumer electronics that are part of our daily life are such an important part of what they do and the way that they work with each other and with, with other people um, that uh, we need to engage them to remain relevant, but also to be able to find new um, and exciting developments and uh, capabilities that will create the next generation of consumer products, um, create new businesses and generate great wealth. I think you will see a tremendous growth in the number of members because I think uh, a lot of uh, new members will join because of the new uh, name that is from the CES to the CTS. CES for me is a thrill to learn new things. A wonderful opportunity to meet with colleagues from all over the world, a family of friends, a family of engineers. It's a very good venue to learn what new products are coming to the market the best vantage point or window in the world to understand the electronics industry. I think it's enriched my life. It's led me to meet a lot of great people. So for me, IEEE Consumer Electronics Society or IEEE Consumer Technology Society is very important for my career, for my research. And, um, and I think I'm in the right, uh, in the right place uh, and in the right society.